Hey guys, what's going on? So we haven't done one of these in a while, but today we are going to be ripping 1994 Donruss. I haven't opened this since I was a kid. Um, I was very, very lucky to get this. I think I got it for like 50 bucks. Uh, this is Series 1. A um, lot of great players to look for in here. Ken Griffey Jr., Nolan Ryan. Um, in this one in particular, there are going to be two Donruss Special Edition cards in each pack. So is that right there? I'm guessing those are going to be uh, like, like the gold cards. Uh, you'll see them when we get there. Um, as well, there are 90s Dominators in here, the Diamond Kings. And on the front, it's also saying we also have one award winners card in every box. Um, this one is sealed. So I'm really hoping that we're not going to have uh, much bricking in this. But that is one thing that I am a little bit worried about, to be honest. Uh, that's when the cards are all sticking together. They're really, really tough to uh, pull apart. And I'm hoping we don't have that because it's sealed. So hopefully that eliminates um, some of the, the air getting to it and the moisture and everything. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's start getting into it. I'll kind of walk you through it as we go. Um, I haven't done a rip in a while, so I'm excited about this. Um, and I'm specifically looking for a Nolan Ryan in here that I can grade potentially. I'm trying to add that to my PC, but in addition to that, there's so many other great cards in this set. Um, the main thing I'm going to be worried about here is going to be the bricking. Let's see, this is kind of like stuck already. Let me see if I can just open it that way. There we go. Okay. It looks like the award winner's card is in here. So let's open this guy first and let's see who we got. This is the it's kind of the checklist to see who you can get. All right, those 10 players. So let's see who it is. Barry Bonds, numbered to 10,000. And it looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's check out the front of the card. Wow, that's pretty nice. Look at that, guys. That's in good shape, too. I like this. Who knows? Maybe, I don't know if PSA will grade this, but uh, I'm sure they have holders bigger than this. I've seen things graded but larger than this one. Maybe I'll get this thing graded. Who knows? Anyway, I will set this one off to the side for now. And we will get to ripping. So this is jumbo packs. It should be 20 cards in 24 packs. Let's see. I'm just going to do this over here. You know what? They're a little tougher to get out than a typical box. So I'm just going to go one by one. Let's see. This is the test. This is the test to see if they are... Ooh, they're going to be a little bricked, but they don't feel too bad, actually. All right. Let's see. God, I haven't done this since I was a kid. I'm a little nervous because I know, obviously, you want to be mindful of the corners. But one of the things that I remember... You know what? Done. Uh, one of the things that I remember about this set is that the pictures were absolutely gorgeous. This was a premium set when it came out. It was known for being super glossy, but there's no borders on this card. Wow, everything is like sticking to everything. A little bit of bricking. This could be tough, but we're just going to kind of go through it and see how it goes. Yeah. I don't know what inspired me to want to do this. I think it was just specifically looking for the Ryan, but here we go. So we got Geronimo Pena, Greg Jeffries. What is this guy? MVP card, Greg Jeffries. This guy, when he first came up, he was the man. He was the guy you wanted to have. This is an insert, so I'll put that right there. But Greg Jeffries, here's Ellis Burks. Greg Jeffries was the guy. Yeah, this is kind of making me a little nervous how things are breaking. Okay. Andy Ashby. Greg Myers. Here we go. This is one of those special edition cards. John Burkett. Gold. Put that right there. Mike Piazza with the Dodgers. I think a lot of people remember him in a Mets uniform. Unless you're a Dodger fan. See, another Geronimo Pena, already a double. 
the photography on this set was really beautiful. I think they were all trying to copy the 1991, I think, Stadium Club from Tops. Here's a Cal Ripken Jr. Let's see. I think I might try and start like a stars pile as well. So we'll have the inserts, the gold edition, and maybe like a stars pile going. So we'll see. Um, for those of you who are in this for the long haul, going to be watching all the way through, thank you for sticking with me. However, if you guys just want to fast forward to the end to check out all the highlights, feel free to do that as well. I'm just in this for the rip. This is uh, Tony Fernandez, the Blue Jays. The cards, the quality is actually pretty good, I got to say. Um, Tom Henke. The, the bricking, like they're still sticking together, but there's not as much like stock loss coming that I can see. This is Royce Clayton. Spike Owen. Oof, really got to slow down with these guys. And look at this. We got a special edition, Craig Biggio. So that's cool. We got a Hall of Famer with the special edition. There you go, guys. That is a nice looking card right there. Nice looking card. All right. Billy Brewer. Now, I was just a kid when this set came out, and I remember how beautiful it was. But I, I remember a lot of these names. I don't remember everybody. So if I pronounce a name wrong, please forgive me. Mark Dewey. Let's see, next pack. Again, I think we got like 20 packs in here, or 20 cards for 24 packs, maybe. I think the best way to open these was just to slice them a little bit. There's a space right there. This way you're not pulling on the corners and stuff. So I think that might be the way to go for now. Right here's only a thing. Okay, so far, I think we are preserving the corners that way. Doing our best. Doing our best. And you can see the bricking a little bit, but and unbrick them. Oof. Dennis Eckersley on top. You can already see that corner is pretty badly hit. And a Tony Gwen right behind him. All right. So here's what I'm talking about. You can see there's a little bit of stock loss here. You can see that up in the corner there with the light. So that's very, very typical for these early 90s glossy cards. Uh, luckily, it's just a common card of a Dennis Eckersley. Let's see what happened to the Tony Gwynn MVP card. All right, so that's a nice looking MVP card. But what happened in the back? Anything? Any stock loss back here? A little bit right there in the bottom corner. You can see that. Cool card to have. I mean, maybe we can get a little set together for these MVP cards. Sorry, shaking the camera a little bit here. Oh, man. Oh, that sound. Oof. I hope it's not going to be on every pack, but we'll see. Uh, Brett Saberhagen. Cool story about Brett Saberhagen. He used to have a training facility. It was almost like batting cages and video games out on Long Island. And uh, I used to go there. It was cool. He used to invite down a lot of the pro players to do like signings for people, which is really cool. Daryl Strawberry. Kevin Stocker. Oh, this is David Justice special edition card. It's a nice picture too. Nice picture, a little bit of, um, looks like a, like a red fish eye or something on there in the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Still kind of cool. All right, Don Slott was the catcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, Dennis Eckersley, another common. All right, Kevin Stocker. And again, I'm looking for like Griffey's, Nolan Ryan's, everything like that. Hall of Famers. I mean, I'm, I'm just in this mostly for the fun of the rip. It's been a while since I've just gotten a, a wax box and decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to open this up. But maybe we'll do a couple more in the future, too, because I'm kind of feeling nostalgic lately. I don't know. I kind of want to get into it. Um, let me know in the comments below if that's something that you guys want to see um, more of, less of, if you're strictly here for the, the PSA submissions, because we're doing that as well. Let's see. Checklist. Some people like the checklist. Some people actually grade the checklist. I don't know if this is one that would be graded, but uh, yeah, it's interesting to me that people grade checklists. 
All right, another Daryl Strawberry, so double in that pack. The special edition Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Very cool. All right, and then toward the bottom, it seems like they're not really sticking together all that much, which is nice. Jose Lind, Chris Hoyles, and Domingo Jean, I guess. Domingo Jean. All right, now I'm going to try and get these packs, get them all out at once. Just do the flip. Flip always works. And you know what we haven't seen yet is a Diamond Kings card. I would like to see one of those. Should we try? I almost wish they had just like a side corner that you could just kind of pull down. But, oh. Oof. Try the traditional method. No. I really like this thing. This box cutter has been coming in handy with these guys. Almost hate to say it because you kind of get scared doing it, but there we go. If you guys have a better method for opening up these bricked cards out of these packs, please let me know. For sure, a little rough. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. There we go. All right, and we have a Dwight Gooden on top. And who's the MVP player behind it? Mark Grace. Let's see. No stock loss, no stock loss. Ah, a little bit. You can see it right up here. Let's see if I can get you guys some better light on that. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, a little bit of stock loss right there. Ah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen with these guys. And a Dwight Gooden. I'll try to move a little bit quicker with these. Um, Arthur Rhodes, John Whitland, upside down, Brian Harper, Roberto Alomar, special edition. There we go. Oof, there we go. Ben Rivera, another Dwight Gooden. Seems to be like there's a couple um, doubles in the same pack. So Dwight Gooden. Yeah, I felt like there was two cards there. Joel Johnson. Shane Mack. Phil Hyatt. This is a rookie card, rated rookie. I don't know if there's any standout rookies in this set. I don't believe that there are, but uh, if we happen to see one, we'll stop on there. There we go. Jack McDowell. Make another little pile. Why not for the rookies, just in case. Mo Vaughn. And I realize, I realize that I was making a star pile and then I sort of stopped doing that. So forgive me for that. Um, if I see anybody that I think is a a bigger name or a bigger card that, that I'm looking for personally. Maybe I'll, I'll take it out and put it down. But I realized I was making a star pile and I kind of stopped because I'm really just looking for the uh, the Nolan Ryans and the, um, there's a Gary Sheffield, and the Griffies. All right. Now I just passed to David Wells. I remember when he pitched a perfect game for the Yankees. This is Roberto Hernandez. It's interesting because the quality on the cards doesn't look too bad. It's just really, so far, the MVP cards that we've seen the stock loss on. All right. And then maybe a trick would be... I'm, like, so nervous here. I just want to cut a little bit. Maybe that'll be enough. I don't know. That might have worked. Jeez, guys. I don't know if maybe scissors would, scissors would be better for this.
and I was too gentle and that did nothing. Oh, it did. Okay, perfect. Dude, this is like the worst. All right, really struggled with that one. I got to get a better method for that. All right, though, here we are. These corners, this one, this one bottom corner is hit pretty bad. You guys can see that. Oof. All right. Andres Galarraga, the big cat. MVP card. All right. Bobby Ayala. Alan Watson. Kevin Brown, Mike Piazza, special edition, very cool, all right, Hal Morris, just one card, all right, um, Mike Lansing, Kevin Brown, Bernie Williams, Mike McFarlane, Robin Yount, he's a Hall of Famer, Bobby Thompson, Damon Berryhill, Jose Aquino, sorry, Luis Aquino, Arthur Rhodes, hey, Nolan Ryan, career salute gold. That's one of the ones we were looking for. That is cool. Very nice. Don't see any stock loss on that. So really quick, just going to sleeve this guy up. This is definitely one of the ones that I was looking for. So I'm very happy to have that. I'm gonna put it in a card saver right away, just in case, just cause it's a gold, you know. Now I don't know how it's gonna do, I gotta check it out later, see what I think. But so far it looks pretty clean. Um, maybe some corners slightly, maybe. Could just be the cut, I don't know. It looks pretty good though in the holder. No stock loss, which is great. So we'll see how that one does. For now, I'll just put it back here, a little bit out of the way. All right. Yeah, good enough for now. Um, all right, Luis Gonzalez and Frank Viola. Might have just put it down here. All right, next one. Sorry, guys, I feel like this one's going to be a bit of, a bit of a longer video because... Uh, Getting these packs open is being a bit difficult. Again, again, if you guys are here with me for a long haul, I appreciate it. But by all means, feel free to fast forward if you just want to check out the highlights. We got one of the guys we're looking for, though. So hopefully we continue to find the ones we wanted. All right. It looks like this first card in every pack on both of them are like stuck out. They're kind of, yeah, stuck to everything. Uh, usually that first card is kind of a lost card because you can see the top corner. The last one was the bottom corner. They're just kind of a mess. But let's see. Ah. All right. John Dobson right here. I'll go back over here, check out who our MVP card is. Is Moises Alou. Very nice. Who knows, maybe we'll get enough to make the whole set by the end of this. Get one per pack, there's 28. Uh, I think we're gonna maybe fall eight short. Mm -hmm. Who knows, who knows? Maybe we'll get a few extra. Um, I'm still looking for the, the Diamond Kings as well. Anyway, um, Xavier Hernandez, Donovan Osborne, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, so I'll put him down here. Barry Larkin, another Hall of Famer. And the Griffey, 
and we got a Griffey. Very excited about that. He was one of my favorite players growing up. I think he was like everyone's favorite player growing up. Um, I'm going to put him, obviously, in the star pile. I almost just want to sleeve him up right away. In fact, let me just do that. Right? I feel like I'll feel bad if I didn't sleeve him up. We'd love to get like a Diamond Kings Griffey or something along those lines. But for now, this is, this is good for me. We'll keep it just like that. A little penny sleeve and I'll take care of the rest later. All right. Um, Jody Reed. Attached to a Brian Harper. Blast Miner. Bo Jackson. That's kind of a cool picture of Bo. Just looks like he's watching either the fielder or the pitcher with the ball. That's cool. Put that right up there. Charles Nagy. Kevin Seltzer. Oof, which, who's he stuck to? There we go. Harold Reynolds. Now works on MLB. There's a lot of broadcasting, analyzing for them. Always liked him. Earl Hershiser. Does a lot of announcing now for the Dodgers, but he was a pretty stellar pitcher in his own right. All right. Donovan Osborne. Mickey Tendleton, Gold Edition, or Special Edition. Got to be honest, I've been looking forward to ripping these. Sorry, Mitch Williams, Johnny Riffin. Um, I've been looking forward to ripping this box since I ordered it about a week ago. I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to open 94 Donruss. Who says that these days? You don't really hear 94 Donruss getting tossed around. Sorry if you guys hear my dog in the background. She's all bumping around. But yeah, no one really talks about 94 Donruss. I think a lot of people are afraid to open it because of how much the cards stick together. And certainly can't blame them, especially after watching this and seeing how difficult things are to open. You know, especially if you're, if you're like me and you're someone who wants to try and potentially get some cards graded. Um, this might not be the set to do that with, that we might have gotten lucky with a Nolan Ryan. So um, Mike Stanley, the catcher with the Yankees. Jeff Bagwell is going to be the MVP card. Very cool. Put that one over here. All right, let me see if I can kind of sort of unbrick this. Oh, man, that noise. It just scares the crap out of me when I hear that. I'm like, uh, what is it doing to the cards? All right. All right. Glenn Allen Hill. Bobby Ayala. Chuck Knobloch, probably more famous for uh, being with the Yankees. Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer, special edition, beautiful card. That's really nice. What a great picture of him, too. I like that a lot. Put that down right there. All right. Eduardo Perez, another Mike Stanley. Chuck Knobloch again. Ozzie Smith, the wizard. Okay. I think the corner might have been a little dinged on there, but let's see. Tim Leary, Tom Pagnazzi. Stuck to somebody. Who are you stuck to? Greg Gore. Get off of Greg Gore. There we go. Ben McDonald. Bobby Ayala, Dwight Gooden, Special Edition. Now, usually I don't stop on every card. Sometimes I flip through. Uh, Turk Wendell, cool thing about Turk Wendell, he used to have this crazy, crazy necklace that he would wear. Of, of um, He was a hunter as well, and he had a necklace of like the, the teeth of uh, you know the animals that he hunted. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not personally a hunter, but um, from what I understand, this is uh, Solomon Torres. Um, from what I understand, it was like his way of like remembering them. And uh, I don't know. I thought that part at least was pretty cool. And I think he wore that when he was with the Mets. So if you go back and you check out any of his, uh, his Mets cards or, or anything like that, I think that's there. All 
I always thought that was interesting. Right. Oof, man. Be gentle, be gentle with the cards. Alright, maybe maybe this is a way to do it. Just slide them out. Alright, that one worked, maybe. Nice, nice. These corners right here look absolutely awful. <laughs> but the ones that seem to not have been sticking out on that side might have turned out okay. Um, I'm probably not going to stop at every card. Um, you know, when they're stuck together, uh, we're going to have our first Dominators card. Um, only because I want to try and speed up this video slightly. It's been really difficult with everything kind of sticking together, but we'll, we'll see. All right, um, another rated rookie right here. This is... Kevin Robertson. Robertson? Robertson? There's no T there. Robertson. Okay, put that down. Got a Brian Harvey MVP card. And also, as you can see, the cards are upside down. They are flipping you all over the place. Okay. Carlos Bayerga, special edition. Moises Alou. Yeah, another Kevin Rob Robertson, Robertson, somebody help me out on that and also forgive me. <laughs> uh, Steve Carse. And that's this is going to be our first, sorry, I don't want to skip over this guy, but uh, there you go. And um, Juan Gonzalez is our first 1990s Dominators card. That is a really nice card in very good condition. I will slab, sorry, not slab, I will throw that one in a sleeve. All right. There we go. Juan Gon. This guy was one of my favorite players growing up. I, I definitely collected him a lot when I was a kid. I'm gonna put him with the Griffey in the in the sleeves cards. Okay, Todd Jones. Carlos Garcia, Darren Fletcher, Glenn Allen Hill, John Burkett, Special Edition, Tim Worrell, Benji Gill. Now, I know it might be crazy for me to say this, but I almost just want, I know we got the, the Nolan Ryan Career Salute Special Edition. I kind of want that in just a regular base card as well. Now be careful when you're doing this. I'm I'm feeling the packs when I'm doing it because obviously I don't want to mess up any cards. So just be careful if you are going to do that that you are aware of where the cards are before you do it. All right. Ooh, this one's just sliding right out for sure. Bricked Craig Biggio. Um, yeah, you can tell this one card for some reason was sticking way up in comparison to the rest of the cards, and this corner is shot, absolutely shot. Look at that, but. What are you going to do? That's the risk you run with these cards. Um, and again, why not a lot of people are willing to spend a lot on these boxes. Uh, Lenny Dykstra, MVP card. He was a hell of a base stealer, hell of a ball player. Let's see. All right. Bill Swift is stuck to somebody. Xavier Hernandez. It was upside down. There we go. Carl Everett. Steve Avery Special Edition, Tony Gwynn, oh, look at this, back-to-back -back Hall of Famers, Craig Biggio, and this one's in good condition, so we're happy with that. Carl Everett again, man, a lot of doubles, once you start getting one, you get a bunch of them. Dave Fleming, Todd Hunley, Geronimo Pena, we saw him earlier. I wonder if they have like indicator cards and indicator cards are like when you see, for example, you see Eric Plunk, look at him and his greatness. <laughs> you would see Eric Plunk and then you would see like a Barry Bonds right behind it, right? So like the, uh, the indicator card would be the, the Plunk and some people would have like a couple indicator cards, meaning that they would sort of know when they're getting close to the card they wanted. So, oh, look at this, special edition, Tony Gwynn. Man, these pictures are beautiful, honestly. They're definitely 
remind me a little bit of the 1991 uh, Top Stadium Club, which again was like the first like premier, you know, top set. They were like, wow, we're gonna really, you know, the prices were jacked up on those for a bit too, because that was gonna be like top notch. And then for a while, Stadium Club was like some of the best pictures, best photography. And uh, even today, if you guys open up Stadium Club today, I can feel there's a card right here, and that's so scary. <sighs> These are not great to open. And of course, like, you know that the ones that are tough to open are going to be the cards that you want. So tricky, tricky. I still think the box cutter way is the way to go. I just want to make sure I'm not getting anything. So Mike Piazza is going to be our MVP card in here. All right, there you go, Mike Piazza MVP. All right, uh, who is this? Ryan? Sorry, Stan Belinda. Stan Belinda. Looked a little bit unfamiliar to me, so I had to get that one down. Um, there we go. Ron Gant is going to be our special edition. Then we got one more in the back. Chris Gwen, Mike Morgan, Paul Molitor, Mark Langston. Mark Langston was a damn good pitcher. Kent Mercer, Paul O'Neill, Mike Devereaux. Just kind of trying to move a little quicker here, guys. I know it's taking me a little bit, and I apologize for the stickiness of these cards. Oh, here we go. Ruben Sierra. There you go. Special edition. Some people used to be able to collect the whole set of the special edition cards. I think I started doing that when I was a kid, but I only opened, I think, one or two of these boxes, so I don't think they're would have been a chance for me to do it. Plus, I wasn't opening up these jumbo boxes. Come on. Carlos Baerga, followed by Tony Gwynn, MVP. Still some stock loss going to be right there. Nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. But Tony Gwynn, MVP. Tino Martinez right behind him. There you go. Earl Hershiser. Mark Portugal. There you go. Robin Ventura. Really great ball player, obviously. I think his most famous moment, unfortunately, is him getting his, uh, you know, a couple punches from Nolan Ryan. It was a nice moment. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't want that to be what he's most known for. He was a, a really, really great third baseman. Great glove. He could hit, too. But, uh, you know, everybody thinks about the time he challenged Nolan Ryan, and obviously you don't challenge Nolan Ryan and pay for it. So, Rafael Palmero. Hey, there we go. It's our first Diamond Kings card, and it's a good one. Tony Gwynn. Let's see. I'll have to check this card out under, you know, a little bit better light later on. Um, I can't tell if this stuff at the top is supposed to be there or not. I don't know if you guys could see it. But either way, I'll throw it in a sleeve, and I'll take a look at it a little bit later. There we go. There's our Don Russ. Diamond Kings, first one. Hopefully we get a few more of those. Here's another rated rookie. 
Phil Hyatt, Bill Spears, Scott Heyman, Kevin Brown is going to be the special edition, Bip Roberts, and Alex Arias, and Doug Henry. Cool, cool. Still got a few of these to go, man. We are moving a little bit slower than usual, but we're getting through it. So I'm just trying to open this behind the scenes. Might have a little more accuracy. All right. There we go. Let's see if I can get these to slide out now. Up. Oh. Hmm. Always a gamble because you don't know. That could be the card you want, you know? All right. There you go. Kids, don't try this at home with the box cutters. <laughs> there we go. That should work. Now they slide out. Because for all you know, one of those cards could be the Nolan Ryan I'm looking for, the Ken Griffey Jr., or maybe it's a special edition, or Diamond King's card, and you don't want to, especially with these. Ah, uh, and I think I see a Ryan. I hope it's in good condition. I hope it's in good condition. Okay, Kevin Raymer. Another Brian Harvey. There you go, Brian Harvey, MVP. Jim Leritz. Mike Devereaux, Jay Bell, and I think the Ryan's either card or two behind it. Craig Biggio, special edition, and that one looks good, which leads me to believe that this one should be good. Uh, a little bit stuck on the back, but looks okay. Looks okay. What do you guys think? I think it looks probably as good as it's gonna get. So, I'm going to sleeve this one up. And again, take a look at that one a little bit later. Um, I don't know what kind of penny sleeves you guys are using, but I've been getting these guys with the little lip on the top. I happen to really like them. Uh, they're called Grade Savers. Uh, they're relatively newish. Um, I like them. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check them out and you know, and you like the look of these, I guess, then, uh, Hey guys, I don't know where I lost you. I didn't realize that we had stopped filming, but we are back. We are still ripping. We still got about six packs to go. Um, and then when we're finished, I will definitely go over all the highlights with you guys. Um, sorry about that. Haven't had that happen before, but for some reason I just stopped filming and I was unaware and I just kept ripping. I was into it, but, uh, we're back. Uh, we did pull a Diamond Kings uh, Albert Bell in the last pack. So I'm not sure if you guys were here for that, but we'll keep going. I've been trying to move a little quicker. But I'm fighting these cards. Fighting them. All right, here we go. Oof. Oof. Crack. Robin Yount, Hall of Famer. Boom. Um, I did move some things around. I put the Diamond Kings right over here. I moved the Dominators over there. And I moved the Rated Rookies just because the rookie class wasn't all that strong in this set. So I didn't feel like we really needed them. And I'm sorry to anybody who was in that rookie class. We still love you. Thank you for your contribution to baseball. It just, uh, you know, that's all. That's all I'm going to say. It's just thank you to those guys. And I'll leave it at that. Um... Okay, Paul Molitor, special edition. If there are any rookies that I'm forgetting that you guys are like really hyped about, let me know. Um, and I will, you know, I'll go through, I'll mention them. Let's go, Robin Yount, stuck to somebody. There we go. Here's one, here's a rated rookie. Who is this guy stuck to? Jody Reed. Here we go, Kirk Reuter. Rated rookie. I just moved them a little bit off screen, so maybe we can pull them back in a little bit later. Oh, sorry. All right, Joe Orsalak. 
Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. Let's go, hey, Robin Ventura. John Franco. I think John Franco's in the Hall of Fame. I know he's got like the most saves by a lefty, I believe. Before Mariano Rivera, John Franco was, I guess, the saves man in New York. He was awesome. All right. Five more to go. Hmm. Let's see, got a little bit of room here. This stuff. I do like ripping these cards, though. I might have to maybe get another box, maybe something else, maybe try something a little different. Especially because I feel like with this one, I feel like we came, we got what we came here for. I came here for the Ryans and and a Griffey, and I've got a Griffey and a couple Ryans, so I feel like I got out of this box what I was going for. Especially because they both seem to be in good condition. All right. Oof. Look at this. Look how this was stuck together. And there's a Manny Ramirez on the back. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Manny Ramirez rookie. And I said there wasn't any rookies, and this guy proves me wrong. Manny Ramirez, rated rookie. There you go. There you go. That's cool. Corner is definitely, definitely messed up. But I will put it down anyway with these guys we'll show you a little bit later oh just the way that these were bricked together ah oh, sad love Manny Ramirez love all his Manny isms love his you know 20 plus grand slams I mean that guy that guy's awesome um Mike Piazza gold let's see it was like Mouth, insert, foot, you know, <laughs> right there. Juan Gonzalez. There you go. Carlos Baerga. Oh, come on, come on. John Smoltz. I haven't seen him. There you go. Smoltzy. These are so tough. All right. I was trying to move a little quicker, and cards just aren't allowing me to. Jeff King, MVP. There we go, Robin Ventura again. Moises Alou, special edition. There you go. We got quite a lot of those special edition cards. I guess they all add up. You can see why when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I can get the set, no problem. And then, you know, you're a kid. So you move on to something else. You're like, oh, the next set, the next series, you know? Right. Tell you what. The box cutter thing, even though I'm struggling, has been the best way to open these packs so far. Whew, come on. Even though I'm struggling, because I am. I do love the pictures in these cards, though. I do think it's a beautiful set. I just think the bricking makes it tough. If you're okay with a little bit of stock loss and dealing with these ding corners and everything, then I'd say go for it. But it's definitely something you got to deal with with these uh, these cards. All right, let's see what's this guy, Jose Rijo, MVP, Jeff Treadway. Let's go, Charlie O'Brien, Mo Vaughn. Looks like there's a little Mo Vaughn gold. Checklist, John Burkett. Let me know if there are any sets that you guys want to see. Um, if you guys, like I'm looking for some kind of like affordable boxes. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. 
Um, if you guys want to see any like affordable boxes opened and ripped, let me know. Definitely looking for suggestions. Uh, Steve Fry, Steve Avery. Aaron Seeley, Norm Charlton, and Omar Olivares. Norm Charlton, he had some nasty stuff too. I remember like a lot of these guys, but I was I was so young. I remember their names more than I remember how they played, to be honest. Come on, so close. This one's gonna be a tough one. This is a little bit of a dangerous one, and I'm letting you guys know that ahead of time in case I mess it up. Looks like it might have been okay. All right, Otis Nixon. Bobby Bonilla, I think he's got one more year on his contract. He's still getting paid. Bobby Bo, MVP card. Look at that. I think until 2023, or is it 2035? If you guys know, throw a comment down there if you guys know how long Bobby Bonilla's contract is for. Pat Hankin. Mark Langston. Scott Radinsky. See, it seems to be getting a little bit better, right? Like the quality, the sticking, the bricking. It's getting a little bit better as we're going through. At least it seems that way. It seems like the uh, card stock loss is not really happening so much in these. Wow. Wow. And that one is one you want. Ken Griffey Jr., Diamond Kings. That is a nice card. I am right away going to slab this one up. When I say slab, I don't mean slab. I mean penny sleeve. I don't know why. <laughs> That's the second time I said that. Um, but I will probably be sending this off to grading. I'll probably look at it a little later and see how it looks. But so far, so good. That is very, very nice. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. That is definitely one of the ones you want. I'm very, very happy. I can't believe we just pulled that. Griffey, Diamond Kings. Very cool. Put that one down right there. Sorry, Nolan. I love you, but Griffey's going on top. That is super cool. All right. Wow, that just kind of made the whole box for me. Was not expecting that at all. That's like, you know, you never expect to pull the card you want to pull. That's awesome. All right. Just kind of going through the rest of these guys just to get to the last two packs. It looks like the Griffey's in good shape too. That was That was awesome. only makes me think that the box cutter method is the correct method to go with as long as you're careful about it wow wow still buzzing about that griffey all right moving on moving on dave justice mvp all right richie lewis roberto mejia cowardkin jr gold This one's stuck. Manny Ramirez. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. It's not Manny Ramirez. It is Randy Milligan. Just when I thought I had another Manny. Never mind. All right. Roberto Mejia. Dave Stewart. Terry Mulholland. Kurt Manwaring. Charlie Hayes. Tim Belcher, 
Sandy Alomar Jr., Richie Lewis, Kenny Lofton Gold, Mike Bordick, okay, Damian Easley, last pack, last pack. I will say I think we hit the cards that I would have wanted to hit. I, I don't think I can ask for more, but if I get anything else in here, you know, I'll be I'll be pretty pretty happy about it. All right. Come on, come on. There we go. Kind of slide them out. Boom. All right, moving this one off. Barry Bonds MVP. There we go. I think that's our second Barry Bonds MVP. Daryl Strawberry. Ellis Burks. Larry Lubers, sorry, sorry if I'm butchering these names. Uh, Dave Hollins, Gold, Greg Olson, Tim Leary, Jeff Kent. Is Jeff Kent in the Hall of Fame? Let me put that one over here. Certainly had some great stats. Alan Trammell's in the Hall of Fame. Chad Curtis. Tim Scott, almost there, almost there. If you are with me here, you are a gem. Thank you for hanging. Chuck Knobloch, gold. Danny Jackson, last two. We got Greg Colburn and Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson, that, that home run swing for the Dodgers, man. Ah. Oh. All right, cool. So here we go. This is where we're at. Almost don't even know where to start. I think just the three main ones. All right, so we got um, our dominators. We got three of them. We got Ron Gant, Mark McGuire, and Juan Gonzalez for the dominators. For our Diamond Kings, we got Albert Bell, Mo Vaughn, and Tony Gwynn. The Tony Gwynn looks really nice. And for the cards that I was looking to get, that I got, that I'm excited about, this Griffey is going to be number one. It just looks beautiful. Look at that. Ken Griffey Jr., Diamond Kings. Got the Nolan Ryan Gold Career Salute. Nolan Ryan Base. And Ken Griffey Jr. Base. 